So we're back at it with some more Epic 7 content here on Josh First. So today we got the the actual 116 patch notes. The last one that we did was like the dev notes, you know, kind of future updates for today and, you know, the rest of the month, et cetera, et cetera. But now we actually have today's actual update, which I'm, I'm assuming we'll get after probably some sort of maintenance, perhaps. I don't know. But we're getting a new character, Zeno. Now, you guys can watch the YouTube uh, video. It's a little bit small in here, so I'll just have the link for all this, as always, in the description below. So, Zeno is an actual free, you heard that correctly, free to play five star. Much like Yuna, but a lot easier to obtain. And it also is an ice type, but a mage. So, lots of influx of mages recently. So, we're getting a first ever. Outside of Yuna, free-to-play five-star unit that can be obtained from challenges. There will be a challenge mode attached to this. I believe it's going to be normal. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's normal hell and epic difficulty or normal hard. No, I'm sorry. Normal hard hell and epic difficulty. So there's going to be four difficulties. So that's going to be an introduction of a new difficulty level, which would be epic. So that's going to be probably epic. <laughs> Pun intended. So... Anyways, let's go ahead through and talk about this beast. So he does, uh, without a cooldown on his first move, of course, Blackthorn. Attacks with thorns with a 25% chance to stun for one turn. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. So he's going to scale to HP, at least on that skill. He gets a passive instead of a skill too. Really, really cool. And he gets star's armor. Increased defense and damage of ancient beast by 5% when the enemy uses a non-attack skill. Can stack up to 10 times. So it's 50% total um, when, when using ancient beast. And ancient beast, of course, is his skill 3 with only a 4 turn cooldown. We're only going to talk about after awaken, of course. So summons an ancient beast to attack all enemies with a 55% chance to silence for one turn and inflict bleeding for two turns. Damage don't increase proportional to the caster's max out. So basically, this guy just scales to HP. So you could run him uh, HP and crit, I feel, or HP and hit would also be pretty good. Um, and maybe even speed and HP with speed having HP main stats, uh, preferably percentages on the right side and high HP stats on the left. So... That could be really, really cool. So a mage that scales with HP possibly could make use of speed. And he has a very low cooldown, which also is being generated better with his passive. And he can stun on his non-cooldown skill. Just, wow. And, I mean, wow. So a four-turn cooldown, free-to-play character, five-star, ice hero, mage. Wow. Wow. And you could actually make good use. Uh, I believe it's Abyssal Crown, I believe, is the one that I'm looking for. That artifact could be really, really good for Zeno because it also gives you an increased percentage to stun when attacking. And if his first attack already has a 25% chance by default without any skill enhancement, that could be a really good thing for him. So he could be just a complete just debuffing machine. Just stun, 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 stun. Dispel, bleed. Or, no, I'm sorry, not dispel. Silence. Yeah, it's where they can't use their cooldown moves. And then you hit them with a bleed AoE and like, oh, he actually sounds really, really good. And he's free to play. So we'll get to why he's free to play in a moment. Like I said, there's a challenge attached to him. We'll get to that later. But our boy Ruizid Special Change is finally here. Like I said in the last video, they're going to do an order. That means next week should be Hazel which is the one I'm more excited about, but who knows, Ruzid might surprise me. So his name is Rightius Thief Ruzid, and of course he's a thief, duh. Um, yeah, that's what he looks like, looks pretty dope. I believe what he's got in his hands are called Panthras in some um, form of Japanese, I believe they call them Panthras, maybe they call them something else as well. Um, I can't remember the full term, but um, maybe an Assassin Blade perhaps, but there we go. Specialty change, new skill info. Moonlight Roar, cooldown 4. Increased combat readiness of all by 20%. What? Increases combat readiness of all, I'm assuming that's all allies, by 20% and grants the caster continuous heal for 2 turns through the power of the moon. Awakened, increases combat readiness by 20% and grants increased speed for two turns of all allies through the power of the moon. Also grants the caster continuous heal for two turns. Wow. 
And then if you soul burn, grants an additional turn. And that's only a cooldown of four, which you could get that down. I, I don't know his skill tree or his um, skill enhancements, but I don't know if you can get that to a cooldown of three or not. If so, wow. That is one amazing uh, S3 right there. What the nani. Specialty change quest, start requirements, enhance ruse. It's level 50, of course. How to specialty change. You know, we got we know this by now, guys. You got to eliminate 500 bell mice. Not bad. Gift six shiny charm catalysts. Not too bad. Gift 30 powders of knowledge. Okay, so that's not as bad either if you have a lot of, I'd say, four star artifacts laying around. If you got a couple of dupes that you don't need or you're, you're worth sacking off, you could easily get that. Or if you got a very heavily enhanced three star um, catalyst, you could drop that as well to get your 30 gift powders of knowledge. So that's not too bad. So his special change really is pretty low key, not too bad. I might actually start working on him later today. I might stream that because I got my ruse in, I believe, at 40. So I would have to somehow try to quickly get him to a five star and go in. But not bad. His S3 seems really, really good. Uh, wow, I'd love to have 9,999 of all those. But anyways, so his skill tree increased health by 2%, 3%, 5%. That's just one of the skill trees that they showed. Wow. Oh, here we go. Increase health by 10%. Increase health by 10%. If the attack hits, the caster's combat readiness increases by 5%. Increase damage dealt by this skill by 5%. Increase speed by 3. Increase speed by 5. This guy's going to be extremely fast. When Moonlight Roar is used, if the target's combat readiness is below 50%, it will increase the combat readiness of the target by max 5%. Increases wind slash to decrease attack effect chance by max 25%. Wind Slash has a 75% chance to decrease the target's combat readiness by max 15%. After the attack, the caster has a chance, max 10%, to increase evasion chance for two turns. Nani? So, wow. And then here is the new challenge, Arrogant Zeno. And like I said, it'll have four difficulties, Normal, Hard Hell, and Epic, with each having an opportunity for you to pull or to get this guy to drop this five-star Zeno. Which just looks so disgusting, but I like it. I like his design. He just looks twisted and demented and just monstrous, and, and I love that because that's like a change. That's like a big change for the character designs that we're used to having that are playable. Like this guy is completely different than really anybody else that we can actually play as right now. I mean, this guy just looks like a villain. It's like it's almost like we're able to finally play with a villain, and it's cool, and I love it. Um. You can see here the challenge here. It's just showing you the different difficulties. It's showing you the possible rewards. Of course, Zeno. It's showing you what the first wave, second wave looks like. Um, you know, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, EXP, Stigma, Gold will be rewarded upon beating the challenge. And Charms, Equipment, and the 5-star Zeno um, has also has a chance to drop. So, this is really, really cool. Um, Arrogant Zeno. Get them on all that good stuff. Just showing you some of the other. Uh, the drop rate is actually 20% on Hell and 50% on Epic. So if you guys out there that are pretty, like, very well invested in your team and it's able to take on Epic Hell, which I'm assuming is going to be very hard to beat, you literally have a 50% chance to drop it every single time, which means you're going to get a 6-star Zeno pretty quickly, and he actually seems really, really good. I could actually see Zeno being actually mainstay on some people's teams. Like, Wow. He's actually a really good debuffer. Like, really good debuffer. And debuffing is actually pretty crucial right now in the meta. Um, if you think about it, um, especially if you're in PvP, because of a lot of the buffers that are going around, especially with DN, for example. Um, you know, people with immunity, invincibility, attack buffs, you know, defense, out buffs, all the buffs that you see in PvP. This guy could go in and just wreck shit because he's a big, big def debuffer. So, really, really cool there. Zeno is an event hero can only gain um, during the challenge duration and not be used to enhance, promote, etc., etc., which they were because then they make life easy, but hey. Um, reputation, you can get a five-star Zeno for free by clearing 40 times above hard difficulty. Okay, that's going a little bit insane. Clear normal difficulty, you get 30,000. Clear hard difficulty, you get three transmit. One gold transmit if you clear hell. And if you clear epic hell, you get 100,000 gold, which that seems a little lackluster. Maybe give us two, two gold transmits for that one, because that just seems like a big chunk of the player base won't even be able to beat that. So, 
Yeah, but we'll see. Um, guild improvements. The role of guild captain can now be transferred. Um, inactive guild captain role transfer. That's really cool. If you're inactive for seven days, the leadership can change. That's cool. Um, other improvements. Guild members can now not leave or be kicked from the guild. Uh, wait. Guild members now cannot leave or be kicked from the guild. I don't what the, I don't know what they mean by that. The text bullet displays a guild of guilds in the guild list. Other updates and bug fixes. Ken's knockout skill has been updated. Attacks with a flurry of strikes, burning the target for two turns if the caster is granted vigor. Damage zone increased proportional to the caster max health. Attacks with a flurry, uh, a flurry of strikes with a 35% chance to decrease defense for two turns. Um, if the caster is granted vigor, also burns uh, target for two turns. Damage zone increased proportional to the caster's max HP. Wow. And it no longer consumes fighting spirit. During auto battle, Ken now uses his skill in knockout even when fighting spirit is depleted. Mukacha and Ruzid's tail now display. So that's a big, massive change to Ken. And he picked up an armor break on knockout. Whoa. Wow. Ken is just getting all kinds of improvements. Wow. Specialty change. The skill tree UI has been changed. An animation now plays when a skill tree runes are enhanced. Rune enhancement level on a skill. So they just add a little bit of eye candy um artifact memory imprint uh so just some other various little changes here and there that you guys can read up on but that is what i have for you guys today hopefully this is the last update we get because oh my goodness that's a lot of information to take in so yes we're getting a new free to play character zeno make sure you take this opportunity to try and pull this guy even if you can only beat it up to maybe hard mode definitely still consider trying to get it because it is a free to play five star it's an ice hero. It's a really good debuffer. His skill set is actually pretty good, and he can scale to max HP, which means you can run him with just full HP set, or you can even throw speed and HP, um, or maybe even HP with hit. I feel like those are the three top um, sets that I would have for you guys. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and the ruse at Special Change will be active as well after all this stuff goes down. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a maintenance. Maybe not, but I'm pretty sure we will. Like, we have every week but we'll see but anyways i'll catch you guys on the next one hope you guys all enjoyed this little update review whatever and make sure you subscribe drop a like on the video comment below what you guys think about all these changes join us in the discord below as always to keep the conversations going before and after the video and as always have an awesome day wherever you are until next time peace